from the Delaware Small Business Chamber Studio, located on 11F Liberty Plaza in Newark, Delaware. And we are talking about small businesses and small business issues, everything that has to do with small business. And today the big question is, is Delaware small business friendly? So if you are listening in live with us and you would like to make a comment, please do. And love to hear from you. You can actually hit that button to chat with us and and log in and sign in and spread the word to get people interested in what we're talking about. And the big question, you know, is an article that was just published or a a survey uh, that was just published recently that uh, put Delaware number 49 out of 50, yep, as the worst small business friendly state. And we want to find out what you think, and we're going to talk a little bit about if it really is uh, small business friendly or not. If you go to our website every time before we start here live, you can listen, actually listen to us live right from our website, dsbchamber.com. You can click on and go live with us. Uh, You can register in, sign in with us, and talk to us. Uh, Ask questions. We'd love to hear from you. So we're going to talk about, and and as the president and founder of the Delaware Small Business Chamber, I have a lot of comments that I'm going to be making today to talk about whether I think Delaware is small business friendly and some of the things that we could be doing uh, here in this state uh, to become better. I mean, and I'm going to be honest, I don't think this article uh, or the, the, not the article itself, but the survey done by a company about, called Value Penguin uh, in New York and Manhattan. Uh, I don't really think that that was a very fair uh, representation of the state of Delaware and the, and the way they come up with their findings. I don't necessarily think was a great and fair way to do it. Uh, what they did is basically looked at, um, you know, four major categories to see if a state was a, a small business friendly state. One of the things was is how many small businesses there are versus big business, and the higher the the difference or the lower the difference, the worse or the best it was. And in the state of Delaware, I think that's not really a fair thing because. We do have a lot of small businesses. Believe it or not, there is 86,000 or something like that, somewhere in that neighborhood, registered here in the state of Delaware. A little over 35,000 of them, between zero and 35 employees are actually physically located in the state. Uh, We actually are developing a statewide business, small business survey and uh, market analysis that we did with the SBDC because we do feel that there's a lot of work that needs to be done and a lot of people have to understand where we're coming from and what we're doing. But uh, those that know me know I'm very passionate about small business and the bigger companies that we have that will support our local small business community. But here's the thing we have to remember here, folks, is Delaware has a population that is smaller than 88% of all the other states in our country. So when you look at Delaware, yes, we're a small state, But if you look at the fact that we are big in banking, probably one of the biggest uh, banking capital city uh, states in the world, Uh, we have more banks, I believe, located here now than New York does. I'm not 100 percent sure on that fact, but somebody will look it up and let me know. But we are absolutely one of the best and and one of the state uh, financial institutions. Obviously, we are still big, even though. Uh, DuPont company is smaller than it was, but we still have a lot of the big chemical companies here in our state. So we are the corporate state of the of the United States. I mean, obviously, more businesses, more than five. I mean, more than fifty percent of the of the five hundred top businesses uh, have registered or incorporated here in the state of Delaware. Uh, So that it is important to realize that Delaware is a big business state. It is a state that because of our court of chancery, uh, we're one of the only states that have a business court like the court of chancery uh, that is 
probably geared a little bit and, and sides a little bit more with the business person more than it does the the individual or the smaller person. I mean, I had a, unfortunately a pretty bad judge when I had to deal with the court of chancery. He fell asleep during his K R case and uh, ruled against me. But that's a whole different podcast. But uh, it is a because of that court of chancery and because of the way the state is designed and how, and we have we have a lot of companies, a lot of people that will register their business here. And here's something that's interesting, that the state of Delaware is one of the few states that does not require a corporation to register here in the state of Delaware to operate in the state of Delaware, only to maintain a, what's called a registered agent. So they can hire a person, hire an accountant, hire these, these individual registered agent firms to be their registered agent. They incorporate in our state they do not have to physically be here. So here's the issue, though. The state of Delaware does get a franchise tax for that. But if you're not doing business in the state of Delaware, even though you have registered in the state, you, the corporation does not have to pay an income tax. So if you are an out-of-state company and you register here in our state, you do not need to pay income tax by uh, by having a business here because you're not actually physically located. And here's another interesting thing, that if you are a shareholder of a business that is registered in the state of Delaware and you have stocks and you have the shares of stocks and you own, but you don't live in the state, you live outside, you also are not required to pay or you're not re subject to any Delaware taxes. So it's a big thing for big businesses. So when you look at that kind of a an information that somebody's sitting there saying, well, there's more big businesses in this state and not small, that's not really a fair judgment and a fair way to say Delaware is not small business friendly. However, there are other reasons why I think Delaware has a lot to do. We're not the worst state by any, I don't think by any stretch of the imagination. I'll even think we're number 49. I think we're probably in the 20 to 25 range, to be honest. But it's funny because if you do some research about these small business surveys, talking about the state of Delaware, talking about uh, whether it's a small business friendly state or not, you will get a variety of these surveys that put Delaware at the very top and some that put Delaware in the middle to the bottom. So I really found it very, very interesting that Delaware was where they said it was uh, in this particular survey. But we're a very unique state. I mean, I think that the fact that most Fortune 500 companies are located here in Delaware, uh, you know, with, with their, with their uh, incorporating uh, Delaware, is, as many of you might know, is is home to many of the corporate, uh, you know, court cases. Disney had a big one here a few years ago. I believe there's a new one coming up here in the end of August, beginning of September. That's going to be a big one here in in the state, uh, you know, because of that registration and things like that. So. If you're listening in right now, you're live with us, I want to hear from you. I want to hear what your thoughts are. Chat with me. Send me a message. You can send it right through the system that you're listening on or register with us on this and sign in to, to do that because it's important for us to realize that there are some things that are very, very good. There are some things that aren't so good. And because we are the Delaware Small Business Chamber, I mean, small business is in the name of our organization. We should be a big player in what's happening in the decisions and the questions. And, and so many people have not even asked us to be at the table when we're the only organization in the state of Delaware that's focused on the small business community. And we only bring in the bigger businesses that will help financially support those small businesses. That is a big thing. It's very important to realize that because we are truly about small business. Now, here's the biggest problem with the state and the federal government when it comes to small business. The 
That's easy. It's the definition. The definition of small business is a really interesting term because not many people have it correct. Most people who say or define this, the small business category, in my opinion, are wrong. Most people say that a small business, depending on the industry and all that, can make up to $35.5 million. Some of them say that a small business can have anywhere from zero up to 1,000 500 employees now folks I don't know about you but I don't know any business that has over a thousand employees that's a small business it's not and that's a problem that we have now I understand and I may not 100% agree with it but I do understand why some organizations like the SBA for example has done that has said depending on your industry a thousand, 1500 because they want to get more money out. They want to support more people. They want to help and they want to give and they want to do that. So I, I don't necessarily agree with it, but I do understand that. And I think that there has got to be a change in, in terminology, a change in philosophy. I know that there was a big thing with them uh, recently where they were trying to get them to say, look, forget the dollar amount. Just we're going to say that a small business is 100 employees or less. They turned that down. They didn't want to do it that way. And you know what? That's uh, They want to give more money out to support people. But when our state of Delaware, and I met with some people in a small, supposedly a small business meeting one time, and I'm not going to say which of our leaders was running that organization, that, that thing at the time, but... I remember them coming out and they're saying to us, we're going to be here to help support business. We want to help support the small business community. We have this great thing that we're going to do to support the electric people in the small business community. And I looked at the, the information that they have and I turned to him and I said, look, I, I don't know of any small business who's ever going to reach these amounts of utility usage, the, the electric usage that are written in here. I don't know if any small business will ever reach that. And they said, oh, of course, all those small manufacturing companies with five, 600 employees, they'll do it easily. 500, 600 employees, guys, is not small business. It's not. Zero to 50, maybe. We actually stretch it out to 100. That might be small business. But you're talking 500, you're talking 1,000, you're talking 50. That, you're not in small business territory anymore. You're in medium size. So... The problem I think that we have in our country and especially in our state is the definition of small business. Nobody understands it. We need to redefine small business. Small business should be somewhere between zero, no employees, a lot of people have that, 50, 100 maximum, and then we could go in to another phase and, and support people, small, medium size, medium, large, medium, large, and then of course you have the major corporations. So we need to look at that or we need to come up with some new terminology. Maybe we talk about zero to 10 being a micro business. It's a small business. 10 to 100 is small. And then we come up with some new terminology, new ideas, new suggestions for what it becomes after that. Because if we're not talking uh, to, to people who can understand what small business is, we can't help them. When somebody comes in and says, we have this great new program, or we're gonna talk about, you know, and, and the news journal is a great one of this, you know, they talk about the best businesses in Delaware. And they, they not the best of Delaware, this is their, the, the workplace survey they've done and i've talked to them about this over the years and they just don't want to do anything about it and they come in and they say best places to work in delaware we do small business and they do not in any way let anybody with under